I'm Coach Tracy from MeetRx, and I'm here today with another great success story with Jose, our friend. Thank you, Jose, for coming. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. A little nervous, but I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, you're just talking to me right now, so it's no big deal. Um, I just wanted to start out by asking you, what kind of diet did you have before, and what was your health conditions like before you came to the meat-based diet? I started carnivore. Um, I tried every diet. I, I tried paleo. I tried uh, vegan. Uh, I tried the, like, I used to do MMA and uh, that type of fighting, um, you know, different martial arts. So I'll do whatever the fighters were doing. Um, and then I just felt like sometimes it would work. You know, the, 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 say the vegan diet helped me for a little bit, but my cravings would just get out of control. Um, and then about two and a half years ago, I, I followed uh, Mark Bell and he started a keto diet. So from the keto diet, it slowly transitioned, you know, into the carnivore diet. So I, so mostly my diets have been all over the place. They've been, like I said, traditional American, you know, diet to vegan and then back and forth. And, and it's just, yeah, I'm all over the place when it comes to my diets in the past. Wow. So what kind of health conditions did you have while you were doing those diets? Uh, my health conditions, mostly it was my weight. Um, my weight would, I, I, pre, before I lost 100 pounds, that was about six years ago. And then I gained everything back and plus more weight. So I think about my heaviest, I was a little over 420 pounds. So and then I also had different uh, like skin conditions that I really didn't talk about it a lot. Only my girlfriend knew. I had the uh, red spots on my back and slowly in my biceps were starting to show. And I think it was just because I was drinking way too much soda. Uh, my soda consumption was just off the roof. Uh, I would have like three, uh, 44 ounce uh, Dr. Peppers a day. Um, so it was, it was a lot. Uh, it was very scary. Um, and then also uh, I was having acid reflux. Um, and I, I, I had an attack one time and I thought it was, I'm having a heart attack. And I was living by myself at the time. And I was at my biggest. And I woke up scared, crying. Um, I just didn't know what to do. And I realized I needed to stop eating like, a, like I was a bear. I was just eating anything in front of me. And, and I told my girlfriend, and I was like, hey, you know what? I got to do something. Um, I got to take this in my, into my own hands and fix it. Because, you know, you can ask help, but, you know, it's all, it always falls down onto you. You got to do it for yourself. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to start looking on the internet and that's when I found uh, keto. And then from keto, I literally became obsessed with it. The majority of the people do become obsessed with it, but I also looked at it in the performance. So I was trying to find the best way to do keto. So I started following Mark Bell. I started following Chris Bell, uh, Paul Saladino, uh, Danny Vega, and all, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, Dr. Baker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of course, I, I started following him. So I just got information from everybody and kind of implemented it in my own way to what's going to work the best. Um, and I still, you know, to this day, I listen to all the podcasts, so like constantly I work. I'm always listening to some new type of information because like my health was everywhere. So it, I couldn't sleep. Like I would, you know, I had, I think I had sleep apnea. It's like, I just, I just stopped breathing at nighttime also. And just, yeah, uh, I would drive and I'll start falling asleep. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm like, it's definitely, I pretty much saved my own life. Yeah. <laughs> saved my own life. Yeah. That's so scary, but yeah. that I'm so thankful to hear that you're doing okay. And you do look young. I don't know how old you are, but you look young and yes, I'm, I'm 34 years old. 34. You look even younger that, than that to me. But so anyway, how, so you you heard all about the carnivore diet, and then how did you go about implementing it? Did you just all of a sudden start one day? Well, my uh, my keto uh, diet was pretty much mostly carnivore. Uh, I would have a few vegetables here and there, but I just I never liked vegetables even since I was a kid. So. <laughs> And the more I listened to, you know, you know, Dr. Baker and Paul Saladino and then Danny Vega talking about, hey, you know, well, let's just 
eat more meat. And then my Mark Bell, Mark Bell is one of my favorite uh, influencers. So he started doing more carnivore and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. But my mistake was when I first started, I wasn't using enough fat or enough salt. So I started feeling the, the, the headaches and just really fatigued. So, and I started increasing my salt. So that's when I really, you know, I, I started increasing, like I felt the energy come back. But uh, I, I like to do a lot of ground beef. So I would just go to the store and buy uh, my food for the rest of the week and I just cook everything. So I'm a big food prepper. So I would cook my meals on, on Sunday and I'll do them for the whole week because sometimes during the week, you know, I'll work really early in the morning and then I come in the afternoon. Sometimes I don't want to cook. So I just rather just have containers of food. I know it's not, some people think it's gross. You're like, oh, you know, you're going to have your food in the refrigerator for five days. I was like, it's actually not that bad, you know? <laughs> so, but yeah, I, uh, I just started doing ground beef, eggs, uh, a lot of salt. And I also started experimenting with beef tallow and, uh, that was in, uh, um, butter. And yeah, and I kept it really simple. Um, I like to keep a lot of my food really simple. A lot of my friends think I'm crazy because I would just eat a bunch of hamburger patties and, you know, and they're just looking at me and I was like, why are you doing this for? I was like, honestly, I feel amazing when I do this. Uh, I would get up at three o'clock in the morning and not take a nap after a work or anything. I would just have energy throughout the whole entire day. And I'm working two part-time jobs and with a full-time job and also working out when I had the chance. So my energy levels, like I said, I was just all over the place with my energy. So, and that's why I felt amazing with the carnivore diet is my energy levels for being so active. And my girlfriend was like, because hey, she's, my girlfriend will follow me too. So she was seeing what I was doing and she would jump on board and say, okay, I'll do it too. And she's like, oh my God, my energy levels are, you know, crazy. Uh, you know, she just feels more amazing. Our skin, I started glowing. I felt like I was, uh, what was that vampire movie um, where they go in the sun and they just glow? Uh, I felt like that. I felt, I felt like I was like that. Every time I walk in, my skin was glowing. My hair, I actually started growing a lot more hair. My, I used to have a big beard, so my beard was really shiny. So everybody asked me, what are you doing for your, for your hair and your skin? I was like, actually, I just eat a lot more meat and then uh, also would eat uh, collagen. I found a really good company here close to me in Arizona, and I buy their collagen, and, and I would just drink that, and I feel amazing. Yeah, I had, like I said, my energy levels was just out the door. And my girlfriend was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. You know, we feel. And then when we go to eat at restaurants, we would uh, taste the, the different stuff that they used to cook. So if they use vegetable oil, right away, I would feel it. And I was like, what's going on? I'm like, this is, yeah, we're, we've got to stop coming here. And I was really, it's really hard when you go out to eat with friends because you have to be really picky. And so that's why sometimes I just order hamburger patties. Like I'll order four or five hamburger patties and that's it. And then I won't eat. Yeah, that's incredible. It sounds like you've been on a great journey and you've influenced your girlfriend and, and you, all your friends are noticing. That's, yeah. that's incredible. So can you tell me at the beginning of your carnivore journey, did you have any transitional issues at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it might be a little bit graphic, but <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom a lot. Um, and it's just one of those, I think it was my body kind of releasing all the bad stuff I had in, you know, and it just kind of, I forgot what it's called, the, the euphoria or something in your stomach, you know, like all the bad stuff just coming out. And I'll say it, some people have a different time period, you know, maybe a week, two weeks. Mine was about a month and a half where I, I think I was just really sick. And I just constantly just going to the bathroom and, and I tell my girlfriend, I was like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And then it's just like, but the more information I got, because I work, I was just listening to podcasts, like constantly eight hours a day. And, and I just listened to everything from, like I said, Dr. Baker to Pon Saladino. And then I start hearing people having issues with their stomach. So I said, you know what, I'm, a, I'm just going to keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And, and after that first month and a half, uh, I felt amazing. You know, I don't, I wasn't going to the bathroom as often. Uh, and a lot of people experience the same thing. My girlfriend experienced the same thing. Not as long as me, but it's, it's that transition from like keto to carnivore. It was like, it was a little hard for me um, just because 
I was being so active and just I was like, I didn't want to have an accident. <laughs> so it was just very difficult in the beginning. But I, like I said, it's, it was probably the best decision I can ever make. It, it opened my eyes to the whole world with food um, and how my body reacts to everything. So it definitely opened my eyes. I, I tell people to try and they're like, oh, no, you're crazy. And especially uh, I'm Mexican and my, my parents, my mom was like freaking out. I was like, you're eating too much meat. It's going to kill you. The doctors, you know, they say on the, t on the television, they're gonna, it's going to kill you. It's going to kill you. I was like, mom, I went to my doctor. My blood pressure was perfect. My, my cholesterol was perfect. Um, I also, I talked to Julia, uh, Ju Dr. Judy Chow, oh, I forget her name. Uh, I talked to her and, she, and I showed her my, uh, my blood results. She's like, oh, that's amazing. She just asked to eat a little bit more uh, fat because <laughs> I wasn't eating enough fat. But yeah, that first month and a half, it was, I'll say it was kind of brutal for me. Uh, and it just, like, I still have a little bit of nightmares in there because of that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it's definitely uh, a life-changing experience. And I don't see myself eating anything, anything else, like those, just eating carnivore. It's just, I feel really good. Yeah, you look great, Jose, and you are, have very much energy, it looks like. So let me ask you, how much weight did you lose? Um, when I did from keto to, to carnivore, uh, I think in those six months, I lost about 40 pounds because uh, I hit a stall with keto. So I wasn't really, didn't know how to increase more fat and, or more protein. So I did just decided to keep it really, really simple. So I went ground beef. I did a 80, 20 ground beef with salt. And sometimes I use a little bit of mustard or hot sauce um, just to give it a little bit of, you know, spice. Cause, and I, I would try different hot sauces just to see <laughs> the difference, but I kept it really simple. Um, I did the 80, 20 ground beef. And then once in a while I, d I will do a couple of eggs. I, I'll go to the store and just buy pretty much six to seven dozen eggs and, and I, that would be actually really like the best meal ever, you know, having you know, six to eight eggs in one meal. And I, I, I felt good. Uh, people looked at me weird because my whole cart was just meat and eggs <laughs> and then water. I had a lot of water. But uh, for those six, for those entire six months, I was doing like a strictly uh, carnivore diet. Uh, I didn't have no coffee, no energy drinks, uh, no soda, nothing else. And I just kept it really simple. And, for me, keeping it simple actually helps me out a lot more because I already know what I'm going to get to eat for the week and I have nothing else to, you know, to eat. It's just, it's just keep it really simple. Yeah, that's great because that's what carnivore is so exciting to me yeah. partly is because it's so simple and you don't have to think about a lot of things. But, you know, like when you prepared your hamburger for the week, did you, do you um, just make patties or did you – make different kinds of dishes um i, I would buy like a, those big packs of patties from costco and mm -hmm. i would just cook two of those for the week and that's it oh, <laughs> you know, awesome. i added a little bit of butter and and salt and like i said maybe a little bit of mustard and hot sauce mm -hmm. uh, but that was that was it uh or if i didn't use the patties i would just use a lot of a lot of ground beef <laughs> like i'll go to uh my local grocery store and they'll have sales I actually saved more money on carnivore because I kept it uh, mostly, you know, ground beef. And sometimes the sale one pound ground uh, package of ground beef was maybe $3. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I saved a lot of money on carnivore. I probably maybe spent $200 a month on my groceries, just a uh, Monday to Friday. And that's actually, it wasn't bad. So I saved a lot of money on carnivore. If I kept it really simple, my girlfriend's a little bit more fancy. She wants to do the ribeyes, uh, I like ribeyes, but I just don't feel like spending a lot of money sometimes, you know, and mm -hmm. on, on ribeyes. And I can't really control. I, I like to count my macros sometimes just to see where I'm at. And then once I know where exactly my macros are, I can kind of eyeball it after that. And then I'll be fine, you know. So now I can, for, net, for me now, I, I can go to the grocery store. I pick this, 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 and that. Or, okay, I already know what I'm going to be at my macro levels and, and everything. So that's just. I, I've been experimenting a lot. Uh, I've been obsessing a lot over it. So, and I think that's the way I, so I learned that way. So when I obsess over something, I, I'm going to learn a lot. So and that's the best way for like, the way I did it. So for me. Yes.
So like you said, you increased your fat. Was that just with more butter and tallow or was there some other way? Um, yeah, I used a, more, a little bit more butter, tallow, and also experimented with the different higher fats of ground beef. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, and I felt, I felt like it, it helped and then it didn't. So I, I, I think I feel like my body is used to more higher protein than fat. And because I like to be active, so I do a lot of weightlifting. I just started uh, MMA, so I'm doing a lot of kickboxing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So that's going to be my ex my 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 uh, experiment right there to see how I'm going to do. Because my en I have to you know use a lot of energy for that. So I have to be really really careful <laughs> when it comes to this. But but I might have to use a little bit of carbohydrates for for some of these workouts. But hopefully I don't get attacked by the carnivore people. <laughs> but uh, just because the energy levels for the MMA uh, martial arts, uh, it's really, really high. So uh, I'm going to might have to probably increase calories just to see how it works on carnivore. But yeah, so uh, I'll say I'm, I'll probably end up keeping my protein really high and keep my fat a little bit underneath my protein to see how I feel. Yeah. Yeah, your fat gives you that energy, actually. The yeah. fat gives you energy. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and the protein builds your muscle, and so that'll be both good for your your workouts, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely, because like I need it. Sometimes I do four weeks, or I mean, uh, four days out of the week, mm -hmm. and sometimes even five. And I'm still working my full time job, and also I have my I have one part time job, so it's like I look like I'm constantly moving and moving and moving. So definitely, I have to probably experiment more with the uh, the higher fat and higher protein and see how how everything works out yeah awesome so you've been a carnivore six months now and you you can are you continuing you think you'll ever change back to anything uh, else? i actually in the last the last two months i tried adding a little bit more carbohydrates just to see how my body reacts and if my cravings will come back and yeah that was a mistake uh, and <laughs> it definitely uh because i started eating uh mostly of like the simple stuff like rice and some potatoes and sweet potatoes and i felt like my cravings came back so i definitely i was telling my girlfriend i was like yeah i, I can't do this like because my energy levels fell down uh, and i can feel it right away i feel sluggish and like i think carbo a high intake of carbohydrates for me i don't think it's the best best ideal you know diet for me so like i was telling my girlfriend i just need to stick where i know best so even if i'm doing a 100% carnivore or even a, maybe a 90% strict carnivore diet. I mean, I think that's the best for me. And maybe once in a while, a little bit of carbohydrates just, just to kind of feel maybe a little bit normal. But honestly, it's, yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to stay away from, <laughs> stay away from the carbohydrates because I, I, I just, I feel super sluggish. I feel like when I get up in the morning, I feel like I got hit by a car. I just feel so sluggish and and oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is uh, uh, before uh, carnivore, I had a lot of aches and pains, you know, my, my lower back would hurt a lot. And, you know, I have like uh, stiff neck, joint problems. And uh, when I went strictly carnivore for those six months, uh, everything went away. And I'm not saying this is a cure for everything, but for me, from my experience, from me doing all these crazy workouts I do sometimes, uh, I was amazed uh, that all my body aches were gone. And then, and I was telling my girlfriend, it's like, wait a minute, I feel like I, I just was reborn. Um, and the, the aches and everything were gone. So I was like, well, this is, you know what? People might think I'm crazy for following this, but, and, and honestly, I'll say too, like I, sometimes I would hear people's stories. I was like, man, these people are lying. How can, you know, they not feel anything, you know, and like, you know, we're all humans. We've got to feel some type of pain, but I, I, I believe it now, you know, I, you know, like sign me up for the religion. <laughs> I'll, I'll join the religion right away. But wow. everything went away. So when I started, I, I increased a little bit of the carbohydrates. All that came back. My my aches in my in my wrist, my back, uh, even a little bit of stiffness in my neck. I those little pains came back, and I was like, oh my god. But no, 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 no. I gotta. I, I have my freezer right now fully stocked of, uh, of, of ground beef and uh, I'm ready to, like I'm already starting so it's like I can't do this carbohydrate stuff it's just and I, I wanted to do it just to experiment so it's like I said I like to experiment on stuff and I, I learned that it's not it's not for me <laughs> right. oh yeah that sounds like that was very difficult so yeah. do, you, do you include any um, 
pork or do you include dairy in your? Oh, um, I was, I had to control myself with cheese. Uh, I think that's everybody's weakness. Uh, and especially I like to have some of the, the, like the Mexican cheese, the, the fresco, queso fresco. And like, that's really good. Like I, I grew up with it. So it's like, I like, I have to control myself to a point where I just don't take the whole, the whole slice of cheese, the whole brick, you know, cause sometimes I would just use that as a snack. And I'm like, okay, I gotta stop this cause you know, it's going to get expensive. <laughs> but, uh, uh, dairy, yeah, like I said, milk, I don't really use, drink milk. I stopped drinking milk a couple of years ago and it just, I just feel like, eh, cause with me with milk is I'm going to drink milk. I'm going to want a whole slab of Oreo cookies and it just doesn't mix well. <laughs> so, so I stayed away from that, but I think most of my dairy is just mostly, it's just a little bit of cheese here and there and, 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 and butter here and there too. So, but yeah, I stay, try to stay away from it because I say I can't control myself with cheese. Yeah. Oh, okay. So do you said you do eat pork sometimes like bacon? Oh yeah. So, yeah but I eat uh, pork, a little bit of bacon here and there. A chicken, I'll have some chicken if I, if I come home from work and I'm, I'm extra hungry, I'll stop at a grocery store and, and uh, I'll get a rotisserie chicken. Cause it's, I mean, you can buy two of them for $10. So it's, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, some a little bit of chicken here and pork there and but mostly i like my ground beef uh, i eat a lot of ground beef that's, it. that's what i like ground beef and eggs mixed together like mm -hmm. a kind of like a big omelet mm -hmm. that's i thought that's my best meal right there yeah oh yeah the ruminant animals are you know the the ground beef is going to be more satiating i'm sure yeah and so yeah because yeah, i can eat a whole rotisserie chicken by myself and i was like ah oh, that second one looks kind of good right now <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I hear you. So, okay, so you you lost a lot of weight. Was it 100 yeah. pounds that you lost? Uh, I lost about 150 pounds. 150, but that was on keto and carnivore? Yeah, keto and carnivore. Okay. And then how did your skin issues, how did those resolve or did they? Those, actually, those, those spots I had, because I had my entire back, I had a lot of little, like, red spots. And it almost looked like it was a little bit like a sunburn. But uh, actually, that over time, the, the stricter I got with carnivore, actually, that's when I slowly started noticing. I would have a spot, uh, kind of like here in this spot in my bicep, and slowly I started noticing. Every time I would shower, it's like I noticed that there, it just went away. And my girlfriend, she was like, hey, your back is cleared up. You know, you just don't have anything back then. And it's like, and then uh, I live in, in Phoenix, Arizona, so it gets really hot here. If you guys don't know, it gets really hot. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, the heat were actually uh, irritated. So I would have like little spots where it, it looked like, I, it's just uh, like a rash. It looked like a rash. And, uh, and it wasn't a keto rash when some people call it a keto rash. I, I had it even prior for me doing keto. So, and and I noticed it just slowly, slowly start fading away. And I was like, oh, I tell my girlfriend, oh, look, they're going away. And she's like, no way. And even my mom, because my mom, even when I was a teenager, she would say, hey, what's, what's, what's going on with the spots? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I think it's something bit me. You know? <laughs> so, but even I showed my mom and my mom, my mom doesn't like the way I eat because she thinks I'm going to die. Uh, yeah. She likes to watch the news and she believes everything on the news. So I tell her mom, it's, I, it's it's not going to kill me. It's actually making me feel better. And she would tell me, oh, your skin's glowing. Like, how are you doing? I was like, well, if you're not going to want to do it. I'm not going to tell you. And, uh, but yeah, it, it, I think uh, carnivore diet, just keeping it really strict when I was just drinking water, meat, and salt. And that helped everything. That helped clear my skin. Like I said, it actually made my hair. I had a little bit longer hair than now. And my beard, shiny. Um, like, and it was growing faster. It was growing faster than usual, too. And I was... Like I said, like I hear those people talk about, you know, oh, my hair grows faster. You know, it's like, ah, stop lying. But <laughs> and, then, and then I start figuring out, okay, you know what? These people were telling the truth, you know? And, and now people ask me about it. And it's like, you know what? Give it a try. You know, everybody's different. I, I always tell people when it comes to your diet, try something that's going to work for you. You know, vegan and, you know, carnivore, keto, or whatever uh, fit your macros. Try something that's gonna, you know, you're gonna like and stick with it. You know, that's the best advice I can give people. And so, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I feel like my con all my health conditions have gone away. Wow, that's such an incredible story, Jose. I'm so thankful that you came to share it with us because I know you said you listen to podcasts. A lot of people yeah. will listen to this, and it will help. It will help. Oh yeah, 
Definitely. It's, uh, like I said, I always hear people talking about their stories. And I'm like, oh, cool. It would be cool to, you know, maybe one day I can be on one of those podcasts. And I'm like, oh, here I am today. <laughs> here you are. Yay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you sharing with us and taking the time. And I know you're going to continue on with carnivore and continue being healthy and strong. Oh, yeah. I have another 80 pounds to lose. So I, uh, I'm, I'm going for that full transformation. So like you said, that's why I started the MMA. And, and I want to continue with my uh, different body. You see, you know, I've always been a big guy. So I want to be a smaller guy now. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. uh, so I definitely, you know, I'm not stopping. I'm keeping moving forward. And hopefully my story, you know, my, my whole event that I'm going through can help somebody out there and, you know, and not give up, you know, because there's going to be some times that you, you're you suffering through, even through any diet, you know, and and people are going to judge you. I have so many people judge me. <laughs> and I guess I told those people, when I was at my biggest, nobody said anything, you know. So, you know, why are you guys judging me now? Because I have something that's actually changing my life. So I get a little emotional when I talk about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you look so healthy and strong and glowing. You know, you're just, you're an example of what happens when, when your body can change like that and heal like that with the carnivore diet. And it's true. I mean, we, that's why we do these videos to show people that there's so many different kinds of people, yeah. diff different ages, different nationalities, whatever. And they all seem to heal and do so much better. And and you, you have a great success story, and you're going to bless so many people. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's how I tell my friends is, like, you know, try it. It doesn't hurt to try it, you know. And, like, I, I meet people online and, and, and sometimes here in local keto or local events that we have here in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And I just tell them, give it a try. You know, it doesn't hurt to try, you know. Cause, I mean, the, our government doesn't really do anything to help us with our diet, you know, and especially with this whole pandemic stuff. We haven't heard anything about you know, keeping up with your diet and, you know, and they all they want you to wear masks and that's all, you know, and, but they don't say nothing about vitamins and any of the other health stuff. So it's, you got to take your, you know, your health in your own hands. And, and like, I, I tell myself all the time, I, I saved my life. So. Yes. Yes. That's so awesome. And I know that, um, there'll be so many to benefit from this. And like you said, that they don't give us any answers anywhere. But when you find out that meat is the most nutrient dense food you can eat, yeah. kind of surprising, you know, I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. same here. I'm, I'm still surprised, you know, I still get so shocked. And, you know, and some people are telling me now that I have a little bit of liver, I can't do the liver. <laughs> I tried everything in my power to uh, to have a liver, and I can't do that stuff. So, but eat meat. I mean, keep it really simple. Like I said, you know, and just keep it really simple, and that's gonna change everything. You know, it's it's definitely hard. Um, like I said, especially the holidays, mm -hmm. keeping it really simple. It's definitely really hard. Last year, I was like around this time with you know Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween, all these holidays. It was super hard, but I just make sure I had a lot of meat, <laughs> and and that you know what. My family were eating tamales and menudo, all these wonderful Mexican dishes. And I said, oh, that was good. But you know what? My cravings weren't craving that. I wasn't like, oh, you know, give me that, you know. And I just had a pound to two pounds of meat, and I was good. Um, yeah. But then it's, it's, it's a definitely an amazing experience. So anybody out there watching, you know, and you're scared to try this diet, don't be afraid, you know. And I come, like I said, my family is, to this day, it criticizes me a lot. And it's like, ah, oh, you're eating too much meat. It, I feel amazing. And that's where I care about. I feel amazing. And yeah. That's it. It's, it's really good. Yeah, you're healthy and strong. That's so cool. You're really, uh, you're really doing well. And I'm so excited that you came to share. No, thank you. Thank you for having me. I definitely feel really blessed. Uh, I, I've met so many great people in this community. Uh, like a lot of people here in Phoenix, uh, like uh, Laura... I always forget her last name, Laura Spa, I believe it was her last yeah. name. Uh, uh -huh. Sylvia, the biohacking chick, and like so many other people here locally from uh, from, Arizona, from Phoenix, Arizona. You know, if anybody's out there and they're in Phoenix, Arizona, you know, just you can send me a message and I wouldn't mind helping people out, you know. And I always do it all the time, you know. And people ask me, hey, how can I do this? Hey, here, follow these people and, you know, follow this diet and keep it really simple. And that's it. It's, I've helped a lot of 
I have a lot of close friends to try this diet and they, they love it. And hopefully in the future, I can help more people out. Yeah, awesome. Well, I hope you have a great day, Jose. Thank you again. No, oh, thank you so much for having me. And like I said, I hope you have a great day and, you know, stay safe out there. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.